Hey guys, Smell of Roses here, and welcome to Wolf Creek Mountain just outside the town of Narrows in Giles County, Virginia. This is the Long Shot Trail. It's a multi-use trail. I'm gonna try to bike up to Sentinel Point. Sentinel Point gets its name because it was used as a lookout position during the American Civil War. It's going to be roughly about four or five miles to Sentinel Point. Come along, let's go check it out. This trail just follows an old fire road or maybe an old logging road. The trail surface is actually in really good condition. It's pretty smooth. But you can see the forest is closing in around it. I got hung up in some briars back there and had a little crash. I'm all right. It's dangerous out here, boys, but the mountain doesn't care. So we've already crossed Mill Creek. The forest was so thick with rhododendron that I couldn't really show you the creek. And I will start climbing Wolf Creek Mountain towards Sentinel Point. So we're now on the grassy road trail. We're actually going downhill a bit and then we're going to make a steep climb up to Sentinel Point. Passing underneath a high voltage power line here. That's Paris Mountain over there in the distance. So welcome to Sentinel Point. Can certainly see why this would have been a strategic position during the Civil War. Overlooking the town of Narrows down below, you can see the New River, the water gap there in Peters Mountain. Of course, this large ridge is Peters Mountain, which divides Virginia and West Virginia. Speaking of West Virginia, I'd like to do a little shout out for my good buddy Lou the West Virginia Outdoorsman. He actually doesn't live too far from here, just over the state line. You guys should go check out his channel. Got a lot of cool videos, hiking, fishing, hunting. I think you guys will enjoy his channel. Go check it out. Looks like there's some thunderstorms over in West Virginia. They're still a little far away, but they look like they're headed in this direction. So I'm not gonna stay up here long. I did not see any lightning associated with those thunderstorms but i did hear some thunder so i'm going to go ahead and go back to where i left the bike and start heading back down the mountain don't want to be up here in the open if there's a thunderstorm at least try to get back to lower elevation so i'm back on the long shot trail but i'm still about three miles or so from the trailhead guys you can see I made it back to the trailhead and I managed to avoid the thunderstorms it's mostly cloudy now and there were storms all around me I could hear the thunder but never got close to where I was so I've got to take two forestry roads and one gravel state road to get back down the mountain it's about six miles back to the paved road thanks for sticking around till the end and I'll see you on the next adventure guys